Are you ready? Here we go! You are watching the Downtown Tahlequah Show. Downtown Tahlequah Show is brought to you by Northeastern Health System, Cherokee Casino, Century 21 Wright Real Estate, Bank First, Armstrong Bank, Edna Kimball, Century 21 Wright Real Estate, Cashmere Lane, and Ghost Mobile Detailing. Okay, and here we go. It is January the 5th, 2017, on a Thursday, and this is the third episode of the Downtown Tahlequah Show. I'm your host, Drew Haley, with the Tahlequah Main Street Association. The show is brought to you by and powered by those good folks of the Tahlequah Main Street Association. Let's get right into it. We're going to talk about a few things today. One, we're going to start out with Wines of Winter. Wines of Winter is coming up. March the 9th, it is a big retail event downtown, uh, shopping, there's uh, usually 15 to 70, 18 stores that are involved in having wine tasting in their store, that's March the 9th, uh, 2017, it'll be on a Thursday night from 5.30 to 8.30, mark it down on your calendar, 5.30, 8.30, wines of winter. If you got a pro if you have a problem remembering all this stuff, you can always go to our website. The website is downtowntalaqua.com. Now we have several websites, so we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through it. So this is so you're not gonna be confused. After you watch this show, you will never be confused again. And if you get confused, just come back and watch this show again. Okay, so downtowntalaqua.com. This is what look this is what it looks like. Boom. You get it up on the on the screen there. Okay, it tells you a little bit about down, downtown Tahlequah. And then if you notice over there, we've got a calendar. If you want to see what's going on, bang, click on that calendar. Right there, there it is. There's every, all the events. Wines of Winter, March 9th, uh, Red Fern Festival, Movies in the Park, all that stuff. And look, you can even, you can even uh, change the way it looks. You want to make it look like an agenda? You can click on agenda. And there it gives you in a in a different look, or a monthly look. Eh, who wants that? Or the old pin board look. That's where we stopped started out. And if you have an event you'd like to put on the calendar, you just click submit event, and uh, we'll take a look and see if it fits and add it to the calendar. So that's downtowntalaqua.com for our events so if you ever get uh if you're ever wondering what's going on you know don't be one of those that go well no one told me well now you know downtown com. if you want to know, want to know what's going on get on here and uh check it out and if you really want to keep in touch this show is going to be a weekly show and if you're not a youtube subscriber to our channel do that right now just it's somewhere subscribe hit subscribe um, and speaking of that, while we're on that subject, things you can do on the YouTube channel is you can add comments. So here's the question for today. The question is downtown Tahlequah would be better if, question mark, downtown Tahlequah would be better if, question mark, uh, we want to hear from you. Leave your comments in the comment section below, whatever you got an idea. Hey, maybe somebody's sitting out there with a stack full of money thinking, I like that idea. I'll get behind you and we'll make this happen in downtown Tahlequah. I'm thinking zip line right downtown Creek, the Town Branch Creek. So, anybody out there with a pile of money that's into zip lines that'd like to see that happen, let's talk. All right, let's move right on. Okay, next thing up is the, uh, the Red Fern Festival. The Red Fern Festival is always the last weekend in April. It's so easy to keep up with. It's always the last weekend in April. You don't even have to go to the calendar. You just know it's always the last weekend in April. So this uh, this year it will be April 28th and 29th. It'll be Friday and Saturday. 
Uh, a lot of the festival is still in the planning stage, but it's pretty much the same as it's been over the last few years. Uh, downtown will be closed uh, beginning Friday morning and through Saturday, uh, the Muskogee Avenue. So the festival will take up all of the downtown, um, the area, about seven blocks. Um, music, events, kids, stuff for the kids, car show, hound dogs, we got it all. That's the Red Fern Festival. Um, and just to show you, if you want to know, we'll take a look here real quick. If, you, if you're ever thinking, hmm, I wonder how many days are left. I wonder how many hours are left. I wonder how many seconds it's going to be until the Red Fern Festival starts. Just click on the redfernfestival.com. Look, bang, there it is. You see it? It's 112 well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what it is because I'm gonna edit this <laughs> anyway. You you got it. Blah blah blah. Okay. So that's how many hours left. Uh, how many days? How many hours left until the Red Fern Festival? And you can see there we also got our fine sponsors. If you're a business out there and you like like you like the things that's going on that we're doing here in downtown Tahlequah and you like to be a part of the community and. Uh, have your name in connected to these good events that we do uh, you can contact me drew at 918-431-1655 and uh, we can get you set up with a sponsorship um, you know they're year long and, and that's what we're focusing on right now is getting those sponsorships in place so you want to we want to do it before the end of january uh, so if that's something you're interested in give me a call uh, the other thing, moving right along, we're going to look at uh, membership. We are a nonprofit, 501c3 corporation, so we need good people like you and you, not so much that guy back over there, but you, to uh, help us out. And you can do, it's real easy, you can just become a member uh, of Main Street. It's simple to do. Once again, we're going to use the old internet. Go to TahlequahMainStreet.com. I told you we had lots of websites. Go to TahlequahMainStreet.com. Um, here it is. Look at the old membership tab. Click on the membership tab. And right there, become a member. It tells you a lot about the good stuff that we do. And uh, right underneath there, the annual membership fees are only $35. Fill it out. Put your old credit card in. Click, click. And bang, 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 you're a member just like that. Simple. Okay. Also, uh, let's see. We want to let you know that Snowflake, the ice rink, um, has extended its time. It's usually finished around the 1st of January, 1st, 2nd of January, but they have extended those dates uh, and the ice rink is now open until February the 4th. So if you didn't get a chance to go skate, you still got time. Um, Snowflakewinterfest.com, I believe, or check it out on Facebook. Uh, or you can call Dusty out at the skate rink. He's, he's the guy that runs that thing, so he can tell you the times they're going to be open. That's the ice rink. It's got a new home underneath the big pavilion, and we're excited about that pavilion. That's where... You're going to see a lot of music events for like Red Fern Festival, Big Jim's Motorcycle Rally. We'll be able to hold hold our music for those th types of things underneath there uh, so they won't get rained out. Pretty cool. Um, that Snowflake, the ice rink. Also, let's take a look. Did I show you? I showed you the schedule for downtown, how you can get on there and you can see all the events. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to bring in a guest, Thomas. <laughs> we're going to bring in Thomas. We've got to rearrange things, and we'll be right back. Quick break, and we're right back. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> this is Thomas Gardner. He is the uh, interim director of the Tahlequah CBB. That's right. Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's right. The Bureau. The Bureau. <laughs> also got, known as. We got our own Bureau the here. The Bureau. <laughs> so be careful. Yeah. Uh, 
you got some exciting news I do. to spread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, wait, okay. <laughs> this exciting news may be, does it have anything to do with online transportation network companies? It actually does. Ooh. And, and people might hear that and not know what that is, but that means Uber and, and Lyft. And we didn't get either of them, but we got someone better. We have tried. They are coming to Tahlequah. T R I D E. T R I D E. T R I D E. Tried. Tried. And what we, what we can do to push this thing along, what they yep. need right now is they need drivers, correct? Correct. They need, they want to launch, they are planning on launching in February here in Tahlequah, and That's, the only thing they need to launch is drivers. That's it. 30 days away from having our yes. own online transportation yes. network. Yes. It means you can get a ride down to wherever you want. They'll take you to the river. They'll take you to the lake, anywhere in town. So we need drivers. They need drivers. All right, let's take a look at their website. Let's see it. All right. It's it's ride, R-I-D-E, T-R-I-D-E dot com. Boom, boom. Ride tribe. There it is. Okay. So they're, they're already in. Let's go over here first. We'll look at the, uh, the cities. They are already in. Tulsa, Corpus Christi, Texas, Austin, Texas, and Wichita Falls, Texas, and coming soon. There we are. Bang, bang, bang. There we Tyler, are. Oklahoma. We're not making this stuff up. No, this is real. <laughs> this is real. Okay. Uh, so, you're in the website here. You might as well go ahead and download the, uh, the app. Get it on your phone. Because you're going to use it. Get signed up to be a... Uh, now, this is... This is signing up to be a uh, rider, correct? Correct, yeah. That'll get you their app so that whenever they launch in February, all you got to do is go on your phone, tell them you need a ride, and they will show up at your door. Okay, and then right here, this is what they're looking for. There it is, driver, sign up. You want to be a tried driver. Bing. That's it. Plug it in, put your name in, give them some info. Uh, here's right here is also their rates. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which is, uh, I you know, I've used Uber a couple times, so I don't know. Pretty I guess comparable. it's very, very comparable. But they do have some differences, correct? True. There are some differences in the company that they offer. Um, that's pretty much it for the website. Yeah, a couple things they do. They do, they they never surge their pricing, which Uber will do occasionally, like on New Year New Year's Eve. Or a big holiday, Uber will surge the pricing a little, raise it by a percentage. Um, they never do that. That's that's their guarantee. And they also allow you, and they're the only ones that do this, they allow you to book a ride prematurely. So you can go on there and pre-book a ride for the next day or sometime later uh, in the week. Schedule your ride. Schedule your ride beforehand, and they will show up whenever you need them there. You know, this is pretty big. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it. You just really don't know. I mean, you think about it. You you got your car in the shop. Mm -hmm. How am I going to get to work? Yeah. You have a car in the shop. Yeah. Tried. The family's in town, and you don't have enough room for everyone. They offer SUVs or luxury rides. They can come pick all of you up and take you down to dinner or wherever right. you want to go to the movie, whatever the case may be. Yeah. It's awesome. It's going to be a great thing for Tahlequah. So. Go on, get signed up. Absolutely. I think the coolest thing that could happen is this video. We need to share this video with, mm -hmm. with everybody you can. And the coolest thing that could happen is like in the next two days is their uh, website gets bombarded with people wanting to to uh, sign up to be drivers. What they're looking yeah. for is 15, right? Yeah, they need 10 they to need 15. 15 yeah. to get started. And so, then they're good to go on the ground. And then here we go. We're ready. We're ready to do it. All right. Thank you, Thomas. That's... No that's some good stuff right there. Yeah. So we'll just close out. I want to want to go close out here. Let's look. Uh, how to keep in touch with us. How to keep know what's going on. Facebook. We use the downtown Tahlequah Facebook page. That's where we tell you what's happening mm -hmm. besides this show. Mm -hmm. All right. And I wish our good buddy Canada was uh, here. We miss our Canadian. <laughs> He's the one that's putting all this stuff together. Look, he's got a happy new year. Oh, look at, look at that retweet there. Oh, Poor that's Tyler from you guys. That's yeah, nice. look, he's, he's on it. He, even while he's in Canada, he's helping us 
keep them going here. What a champion. So that's our Twitter page. It's the uh, it's downtown Tahlequah spelled a little differently. See how it's spelled? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we got that Instagram. Got to have it. You got to have it. Watch what the kids are saying. You got to have the Instagram. We got one. Uh, yeah, we got some followers. Look at there. There we so, go. If you're one Instagram guy or gal, follow us. It's downtown Tahlequah. <laughs> Pretty easy. It's pretty repetitive. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the YouTube channel where you're watching this. Okay, yep. there's a subscribe button. If you're not one of the 104 already, click it. That's subscribe. Right. That one when we put these shows out, or we put anything out on our YouTube channel, uh, it'll you'll list, you get a little notification. Yeah, you get a notification. Boom! Right in your pocket. Right in your pocket. A little. Yep. <laughs> And then <laughs> perk right up, turn and, on the video. Then, hey, you got a video in your <laughs> pocket. Um, and then the last things, we're doing the Snapchat. Yeah. I mean. I know nothing about it. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there. If the kids are into it, we're into it. That's right. All right. That's it. We're out of here. <laughs> this is the Downtown Tahlequah Show. And we will see you next time. Downtown Tahlequah. It's been real. <laughs>